Yeah, and another very famous name is Eric John Phelps, oh, who God. is the theologian for anti-Semitism <clears throat> and racism that they yeah, all the love. Vatican they Assassins. All, right, you wrote amazing. the Vatican Assassins, <laughs> and the uh, clone, the ideological clone, his name is Craig Oxley, that has an That's area right. of colloidal silver uh, e at email, I think is uh, gmail.com, who infiltrates our network to try to discredit Oxy Silver and my work with the most advanced silver hydrosols. And, and they have these, all of these agent provocateurs engaging various aliases, various names, but they're saying the same thing, and half of them write like a yeah. first grader. I mean, for goodness sake, it's completely embarrassing, and that's the purpose. They are discrediting every piece of information that they can possibly discredit, as well as well, every person. Well, that's true, and you know, that this Craig Oxley and Eric Phelps both have libeled me, okay? And, and, and Craig Oxley is the old, oh, she's CIA. Here's proof that she's CIA. And some idiot posted, one of the things that he did is some idiot posted my picture, on this site, right? I didn't post it there, and and then the 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 title of the of the poster was Barb somebody, and then he 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 posts this on his site and take a look at this. She's doing this and she's doing that. Here's proof that she's CIA, just like what we said. And I was just reading it. I'm laughing. I said, "What the <laughs> hell?" You know. It, it, and you it, know what it's else really he did? Idiotic. They're totally innocent. But I know that Oxley, he made a video, and he's talking about how I've infiltrated Len and that um, that the CIA uses uh, good-looking women to control <laughs> men and, 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 you know, to get them to do what they want. And then, you know, basically that's when, you know, they can do, they can, you know, off them or whatever. But and, well, you know what, and, Jerry? Th that's, uh, the funny thing about that, it's not true in your case, but... CIA does do exactly those kind of things. And see, that's why a person like this could put out, oh, yeah, they're going to send a good-looking woman to infiltrate somebody that they want to target. That's exactly what they do. And so they yeah. know that when they put this out, even though it's a lie, people are going to say, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. that's right. But here's the funny part where he made himself look stupid when he said, I mean, take, for instance, Bill Clinton, you know, Hillary Clinton is a good example of that. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like mm -hmm. she's so beautiful. Hillary is just so, yeah. like such she a... was used for her looks yeah. to manipulate, not her brain. She was used for her looks. Well, see, the other thing too that that I find absolutely out, out, I'm outraged by this is on Craig Oxley's site. He has a, a a section. It's divided into sections, and of course, I'm posted all over the place in agents of deception, as you and Len are too. Agents of deception, but the other part is they have a, 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 a category. It used to be called black crime and grime, okay? And then they've changed it now to the lower races, in which they in which they do nothing but write you know derogatory comments about black people. Oh. Yeah. So, folks, what it is is a divide the sheeple through all sorts of Cointel Pro, that's counterintelligence propaganda and programming types of media persuasion to get everybody to hate everybody, fear everybody, feel threatened by everybody, and that is what keeps we the sheeple going to the slaughter. And ultimately what we need to do is we need to recognize that these people operate through fear, intimidation, and confusion – and ultimately stay focused on what it is that we want to accomplish, which in this case is put enough light on the darkness of child trafficking and this whole hideous tragedy of thousands and thousands of children disappearing, being abducted, and being made slaves. Ultimately, those slaves are probably, very probably, serving, as we have heard from various sources, high-level officials, the politicians on Capitol Hill and those people in the White House, as well as uh, celebrities. And the issue is, again, Barbara, maybe you could speak to this, is what part of uh, Bryce Taylor's information is credible? 
Um, okay. I think a lot of I think a lot of her information is credible. Uh, it's just oh, we don't have a lot of time left, do we? A lot of her information is credible, but she's one of the bad guys. She's in with Ted Gunderson. Mm. All right. And she created a lot of trouble for me. Um, but if you just look at it, what she's reported, yeah, a lot of it is a lot of it is unfortunately true, because I've known people, other people, uh, that that came out of something like that. Um, so it, it absolutely is, and I, I think it's really important. I want to say this um, is that <clears throat> this has been going on at, at least with this particular gang of agent provocateurs and and you know CIA FBI COINTELPRO people for me uh, you know they've they've targeted me for well over a decade and you know I hardly had any backup at all I mean I have a friend he's my friend Gerald Sosby he's a former FBI agent whistleblower and I've known him for 10 years he's my best friend uh and up until you people came into the picture nobody would uh, you know, except for him, there was really hardly anybody that would would uh, stand up behind me and had this, discovered the same information. I mean, saw it for themselves. I can't yeah. tell you how happy I am about this because these people need to be exposed. Yeah, they, they so, need to be exposed. Sure, There's no way to stop them. Yeah, absolutely. They have to sure. be exposed. Sherry's got a comment, and I, I, and I have an important statement also that we need to look at. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, well, okay. So, yes, when we now want to expose these people, each and every one of us has to be responsible in doing that, and the best way to do that is to recognize them, have that spiritual or even behavioral index measure of this hypocrisy and insanity. One way to do that is to watch their eyes. When they're lying or they're presenting in the media, particularly on video, you can see their erratic eye movements. And when you're watching an erratic eye movement, particularly to the right, uh, the they move their eyes to the right, which is your left as a viewer. If that is seen, you know very likely, according to experts, that the person is lying. When you see Absolutely, that happening, man. and let me give you an example of that, Anthony Hilder. When I saw him on that video, I mean, talk about a liar! You know, uh, he, he was. It was written all over him. I, I was sitting there laughing. I was laughing at how 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 you know blatant can you possibly get? Yeah, and so that's a beautiful response, Barbara, and that's what I encourage every, everybody to start to laugh at liars. Because it's kind of like Pinocchio, his nose grows and you laugh at a Disney film, but this is kind of like what's happening in real life. If you laugh at a liar, don't get plugged in, don't even get angry. You know, it's fine to get even, but the, you can get even by laughing because they deserve to be discredited and essentially ashamed of what they do. And I also want to um, tell everybody, when we first started uh, finding out about this information, when when after we just figured out who was behind the Knights of Malta list, and then after, you know, started to research it and you know, came into Barbara's blog, um, it, it was really, it, I mean, it was really strange how some radio personalities would refuse that were actually, you know, very independent and were into the Patriot movement would refuse to actually document our writing on this. I no, mean, they would uh, document uh, it. Uh, Sherry's talking about Jeff Rents now. And it, it's, it hurts my heart uh, to have it happen and, and even to say it on the air. But Jeff and I have for years, over a decade, been friends. And I felt that we were friends. In fact, in 2009, I presented a, an award to Jeff that I felt that he deserved for a live H2O for a bravery in, in, uh, in journalism. And... When we started to come out with this information exposing Gunderson, White, Truott, Jeff, for the first time in a decade, refused to publish anything that I or Sherry wrote. When he saw them, like, basically, they copied him on some of the emails that they were sending, and he said, don't respond to these people, it's trouble, don't do it, don't yeah, go there. And he encouraged me to not go where we are going now with you, Barbara, because... He told me, 
that he was afraid. He was simply intimidated. That's his story. He wasn't afraid of exposing the Rockefellers and the people right. at the highest level, and, but and he, he was afraid of And he's not, he's not afraid of bringing uh, KKK and, and anti-Zionist uh, propagandists onto and, his and, program. And David, Duke, David Duke on his show is a, is a fairly regular. He's not afraid of doing that, uh, but he's afraid... I can afraid. tell you why. I can tell you why, Lynn, because what I do and what I've been doing for a long time is much more dangerous. And what you're doing, it, this is more dangerous. This is not, this is something that we're here laughing, you know. We're here laughing, but it's dangerous. Um, these people are serious. I, I'm not talking about the clowns, okay, like Tim White, the buffoons. I'm talking about people like Gunderson and DeCamp, these people are, are some very dangerous criminals. And so are you saying that Jeff rents his statement to me that he simply can't do it, Len, because he is afraid? You think that that's where he's at? Well, uh, I sort of would rather not say, okay? I, I, I don't really want to make a comment on that. I can tell you this. I can tell you this, that it, it, it was... It was shown to me or told to me from way back uh, because I had a lot of friends that were, that were on the Rent show from way back. We're talking about a long time ago. It, it, it was, uh, you know, told to me that I had been previously, you know, preempted. I was, I was blacklisted from certain ever getting on certain programs because CIA put out the word, you're never to... And they don't do it openly, you know, it's not like, this is Mr. Johnson from the CIA, and we're here to tell you that you can't have Barbara Harwell. No, they get little, you know, they get these little uh, intermediaries. And these people are approached, especially alternative media, uh, and they're approached and they're told, they're given a, a, you know, like a file or a list, don't ever have this person, and I'm on that list. So I've never gotten on into any of the real big programs, or don't um, talk about not that I things. not that I wanted to be on the programs. It was just told to me. Uh, I had sources that told this to me, and then all my friends, all the people that I know, were on these programs, but not me. And then, of course, <laughs> I've been banned, like by Alex Jones, you know, banned from GCN and pulled the plug on me. Yeah. Um, this this is it's a protection racket, okay. These lists will also include, like, subjects you can't talk about and people yes. you can't talk about. Yes, but the most important, you see, certain subjects are, are taboo, but more than the subjects are individuals In who they know right? are going to simply tell the truth. They don't work for anybody. They're not at the behest of anybody. They're not... Um, bought and sold by anybody. I mean, somebody like me or the two of you, um, we're just going to go on and we're going to reveal the truth of what we know, uh, whether it's by personal witness or research or experience or investigation. No one's going to stop us from just telling the truth. And that's, that's, that doesn't fly, you know, because it's all controlled, or they're trying anyway. They're controlled opposition. They have to control what can be told? They know it's going to leak out here and there anyway. They can't stop it. But so they have to put a spin on it. And that's what Gunderson, people like Gunderson are all about. And DeCamp, it's a, it's a containment operation and a protection racket. If you buy into the, if you become a supplicant in the protection racket, you're, prote you know, you're protected. Um, and you can basically do what you want to do, but you've got to knuckle under to them. And that's what it's about. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, sad, I guess, Barbara, I, I appreciate where you're coming from. I know it's the same place that Sherry is coming from. It's an honor to work with Sherry, so I appreciate you greatly. I know that this is a, a Holy Spirit, literally a direction from divine sources that keep us going. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, it has not helped our business to engage the truth insofar as exposing satanic manipulators and child killers. So it's really, this is a calling, it's a humanitarian effort that we make. It's a commitment to the Creator to live in faith, not fear, and to serve 
honorably to try to bring literally sanity as well as peace to this incredibly manipulated world. So, And really what's really sad is there's journalists like Danny Casalaro who are murdered and nobody even gives it a second thought and questioning why was that man murdered, looking at the, at the same